This Rikers Island retired prison guard named Leroy is going viral after revealing what it smells like inside a women's prison cell. The brave guard, who we'll call Knows No More, was interviewed by a YouTuber named Ian Bick, and his clips are blowing up on TikTok. In the interview, Leroy talked about his olfactory ordeal back in prison. And let me tell you, it's a roller coaster of emotions. From grimaces to tears, he held nothing back as he described the unforgettable odor that haunts those prison halls. The former correctional officer worked at one of the most notorious prisons in the country, Rikers Island, where he was assigned to work at the Maximum Security Segregation Unit and the Solitary Unit, where he rendered services for over 22 years. Leroy worked at the prison from 1986 to 2006 and describes the experience as insanity. Leroy said in the interview he was just 19 years old when he first started working at Rikers Island and that he didn't want to become a CO, but that his mother obligated him to do it in order to get him off the streets and away from trouble since he was hanging around not-so-good people at the time. Leroy grew up in Brooklyn and says if it wasn't for his mother, he wouldn't be here today. In the one-hour-long interview, Leroy talked about his experience working in a prison and the challenges he faced while being a correctional officer at Rikers. Towards the end of the interview, Leroy talks about walking into the jail for the first time and immediately becoming overwhelmed by the funk as he describes. Because when I walked in the jail the first time, you know what I smell here? And not even what I smell. Going over that Rackers Island Bridge is scary by itself. That's a long motherfucking bridge. But when I walked in that jail for the first time, you know what I smell? I smell butt ass. Butt ass. It was so bad. I mean, the funk hit you like, boom. I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, shit. And every day I come in, that butt ass hits you. Bam. He said it was torture having to go to work every day and having the smell hit you in the face every time. The former correctional officer states he doesn't know how he got through it and that the smell was really bad. I would say the receiver room is worse. Because the receiver room, that's what you script on. Now you go from butt ass to just ass. Ass. Just, what are you smelling the ass? Leroy also talked about the smell in the women's unit and that working in the women's unit was way worse than working at the men's unit. I went to the women's house. You know what you smell in the women's house? Baducey. I call it Baducey. It's butt and booty. Baducey. That's what you smell. That's keeping it real. That's what you smell. Yo, English, no. <laughs> this is crazy, man. You go in the housing area where they in. It's worse than the men. When I told you butt ass, this is Bordussi. This is worse than the Bordussi. I can't even make up a name for this because they got their bloody pads hanging up on lines. That's going to be a whole other episode, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Rikers Island, where even the air has a rap sheet. Seriously, though, behind the laughter is a stark reality. These conditions aren't just a punchline, they're a serious issue. Overcrowding, neglect, and inhumane treatment are no joke. It's not often we get such raw insight into the realities of the U.S. prison system, especially from those who work on the front lines. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, if life stinks, just spray some positivity around. Until next time, keep your noses up.